My name is Ojo Isaac. I am the manager of Presta Royal Concept. We are going to continue with the trading, the series of trading we have been having on Sage 50 Accounting. Today, we are looking at how to create invoices without sales order. Otherwise, how to create invoices, direct invoice, without a sales order. How do you create it? When you receive a customer and the customer says he has no sales order, are you going to reject him that you will not sell for him? No, you will not reject. You will ask him for his details of purchases from you. You write it for you that you will use to create an invoice for him so that you will be able to have your record and he will also have his uh, record. These are the steps. Let's just go back to our case study. This is our case study. You know, this is the case study we will be using for this training. Look at it there, the topic. Creating credit invoice without sales orders. So, a customer without a sales order, how do you create a sales invoice? That is what we want to do now. Let us look at the question. On the 9th of January 2020, Ekasi Nigeria Limited bought one ESA desktop at the rate of 30,000 Naira with invoice number 0012. Okay, so let's go to C50 to post that. So you come to C50, this is the dashboard now. You click on task. From the drop down, you select sales slash invoicing tab. This window will display. You click on the customer drop down. From there, you check for the name. And what is the name? AKC Nigeria Limited. This is AKC Nigeria Limited. Click on AKC Nigeria Limited. It will ask you, this customer is over with credit limit. Say yes. Click on OK. When you have done that, you will check the other information like the addresses if they are correct. If they are correct, then you go ahead and set the date. And what is this, the date of this transaction? So the date of this transaction on screen is at May 16. Let us take May 16 as the day the invoice was raised. Select May 16. Due date automatically it will extend to one month. That is can also be adjusted. If you want it to be 14 days, 15 days, you can adjust it there. Then enter the invoice number. Invoice number we are given here is invoice number 002. But when you are practicing an invoice number 002 I'll be taking, you cannot take 0013. Let us do that. So I've done that, 0013. So you come to quantity, SR desktop 1. Then you look for the item. Under the item, you click on the mirror. It will display the existing event list. So you click on ESA desktop. You can see that because you already set it up with a selling price of uh, 30,000 Naira, 30,000 Naira will display. So this 30,000 Naira without uh, VAT will display. So this is how the invoice will come out. So after that, you will go to print preview. You can print it, you can save, you can also email. This is the email button. But now I want to look at the preview. Let's click on, click on the small uh, drop down beside the print preview button. Print button. Click on it. You click on print preview. When you click on print preview, you will now see the full documents. So this is the invoice now. So let's look at the invoice from the beginning. You can see AA and Sons, then two are from Swiss. Then look at the telephone number. Then this is the title, the invoice, 
invoice number 13, the date 16th May. Then look at also the address, Ekersin, B2 Ekersin, then ship to Ekersin. Then look at the quantity, one, then the ID and the description and the amount. So if the invoice contains more than two, three items, you are going to see them here, all of them listed out. So let's look at the bottom. This is the subtotal figure 30,000, total invoice amount 30,000, and the balance is also 30,000 because he has not paid. This is what we mean, this is what we call credit invoice because the customer has done paid. So in that case, if you want to print it now, I click on print. I can click on print button here or I save. But the purpose of this training, I'm going to save it because I'm not uh, printing. I will click on save. When I click on save, the, the, the data will disappear. It means that it has save. This is how to raise uh, an invoice, a credit invoice, without an existing sales order pending or without a pending sales order. My name is Ojo Isaac. Subscribe to this training. Click on the subscribe button so that you continue to get more videos from us. Thank you and God bless.